entertaining in person. When she's in here, she brings an entertaining level. I'm sorry she wasn't as entertaining as she normally is, but she was very informative and I'm very proud of the way you did that. You know what I'm saying? You took control of that and it was awesome. What do you mean I was in there as entertaining? They, they're, they're entertaining when you cuss, babe. You didn't keep everybody entertaining. But that's cool. But they like when I'm shucking and jiving. They, they like when you shuck and jive. They like, wait a minute, she too serious. And not... Nah, they didn't say that. But it was good. It was good. Yes, sir. Uh, what you say Chief said? I heard that you, your wife put you to sleep. Well, sometimes she do put me to sleep. You need a woman to put you to sleep, too. Hello? You ain't got the right woman if she ain't putting you to sleep. Right. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> I don't know who you got that yeah, she should be putting you to sleep and you should be putting her to sleep. So it should be a vice versa thing, you know what I'm saying? A little bit of here, a little bit of there. It's good to 757. I know Cat's gonna be actually listening and checking this out a little bit later. Shout out to my man Aaron. He actually uh pinged me say he actually going to be uh checking it out as well. And he um he just texted me too. I think he did text me. Listening there. Yeah, man, what's good, my man? Fitch it up in this piece. Yeah, he said he came in. Okay, yeah, brother. Appreciate that. Appreciate that. Appreciate it for checking that out. Is that Jordan? Oh, Jordan tuned in. Okay, that's Aaron's cousin. Yeah, what's up, Jordan? Anyway, man. Yeah, he said, listen to me. So, it was a good show, man. It's a lot of issues that, you know, is going on in this world. I know y'all had a chance to... uh Check out, I think Miss Tori Lee had her show last night. She had addressed a lot of different topics last night as far as spending black dollars, you know what I'm saying, in the neighborhood, you know what I'm saying, the, the proper way of uh, conducting. And if you say you want to, you know, have economical, you want to have an economical force in your neighborhood, the right way to actually do it, target certain businesses and, you know what I'm saying, support that. You know, because it's easy for you to go to a Walmart. It's easy for you to go to Kroger or wherever it is but you know you may not go to Wayfields which is next door to it or whatever you know what I'm saying because you feel like oh it's better quality of meat here at this place but you know what I'm saying you can demand and if you actually did spend your dollars in Wayfield you know what I mean there's a possibility that Wayfield's quality and Wayfield's prices would be low you know what I'm saying like it should be so and that Wayfield is is an independent grocery store uh, minor, minority owned in our community But I was just saying You know Spending dollars in the neighborhood Spend those dollars And um, support The businesses in our community You know what I'm saying People have certain businesses My man Mike Smith Is a business owner You know what I'm saying He he does um, le- Electrical work And con- Contracting And Plumbing And all kind of stuff he does man I think I think he do plumber. I know he's an electric. I definitely know electric. But what, but what he does, you know what I'm saying? Support that brother. You know what I'm saying? Don't necessarily you got to call Cool Ray. Call my man Mike Smith. You know what I'm saying? Get him over there to handle his business. Support him. So put some dollars in his pocket and, and, and everybody else. Shout out to my man, The Microwave. John Fisher, who also does HVAC. You know what I'm saying? Holler at him. Holler at people in your neighborhood. I'm not necessarily saying holler at these people that I'm calling out per se because there are people like them in your neighborhood that you know. Holler at them. Support them. Put them dollars in their pockets. You know what I'm saying? And 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 if we continue to do that and do that, each one reach one, each one teach one, and, and, and do that one by one, then we'll have growth. We'll be able to grow and we'll be able to prosper and do what we need to do. So yeah, that's that's a big thing. That's the that's the main thing when it comes to it. Um, so I'm happy I ant I ant to actually was able to uh, join us, and um, she was you know very very good with the wealth of knowledge, and you know she had a lot of information. Uh, being based out of D.C. and living that life and living a, the life of politics and hitting all those different things, she basically. You know, she had a lot of uh, opinion and a lot of things that she's been exposed to and a lot of a lot of different things. Number one is she was uh, one of the organizers of the Women's March that was up there. And that Women's March was powerful. That Women's March spread not just through D.C., but other parts of the country. One out in L.A., one in Atlanta, one in New York, you know what I'm saying? One in Philadelphia, one in all different parts of the country. So it was a huge march that actually spoke about the... Uh, injustices of different issues that we're facing in the community but there also was the displeasure of uh, number 45 you know what I'm saying they were really 
angry and mad at the election of this sexist president that we have in place with all the atrocities and things that, you know, that he spews out and, 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 and things that he, he's involved in. They continue uh, people, people continue to still put him in office. So these ladies actually went to the streets and had that march and actually spoke about the displeasure of um, having him in office. So that was another thing. So it was real huge, real big. Shout out to Queen up here. I didn't give a shout out to everybody else up here. Uh, shout out to my man, number one, Chief Rocker. I'm going to go through it right quick. Shout out to my man, uh, Silverback Smith. All three of them X Squad affiliates. Mocha Bella, another X Squad affiliate. Shout out to Big L up in here, uh, another X Squad affiliate. Grego, another X Squad affiliate. affiliate. Vince Wright, X Squad affiliate. Uh, Still going down the line. My man Sydney Jackson up in this piece. Welcome, Sydney. Uh, who else did we have? We had we have my man Clay Davis. Welcome to Clay that came through. Um, well, still going through, still going through. The chat room was full of a lot of chat here, so I'm trying to scroll through as I, as I saw. Uh, I said Grego, X Squad affiliate. Uh, my man Jelani with the way to the show, another X Squad affiliate. Vince Wright, I said, uh, Rough Buff, another X Squad affiliate, um, Barbershop Sports Talk, X Squad affiliate, DJ Knox, another X Squad affiliate. You see, the X Squad was in here deep, man. We were in here super deep um, as far as our interaction in here. And uh, that's what we do, man. We support each other. We go into the shows, we listen, and we actually are a, 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 a group of podcasters. And uh, podcast supporters. Uh, that's what we do at xquadaffiliates.com. Cedric Galloway up in here. Um, who else? Still going through, making sure I cover everybody that was up in here. I want to say what's up to y'all. Make sure I give y'all a proper shout. DJ Nunu, another X Squad affiliate. Um, still scrolling through. All right, all right, all right. I think I am getting close to my end. I ain't sure. A lot of chat in there. It was a whole lot of chat. All right. I said Sydney Jackson. All right. I think that is it. Everybody was covered up in here. Oh, my brother, our day was up in here. Shout out to my brother, our day, who came through, showed his face, representing 757. The 47th problem, the man Frank was up in here. What's good, Frank? He was in here early on. My man Ben, BS3, another X Squad affiliate up in here. And shout out to my man Melvin, always supporting, representing those SWATs, Southwest ATL. He was in here, and uh, I think that covers us. If, say your name. If I forgot you, I'll give you a shout out to because I think I covered all of y'all. So, anyway, yo, I appreciate everybody coming through and representing and doing what we do. We always. You know what I'm saying? Health shows, all kind of different things, and we do. And um, it's lovely, man. It's lovely the camaraderie we have, the family and the kinship that we have. And hey, if you missed last week's show, definitely check out my man Faro Jaro last week. If you missed my man the week before that, that's the legal grow guy, my man, my man um, Joy C. He actually had the legal grow show before that. You know what I'm saying? We went, we've, we had we've had Dynasty. I mean, we've had a lot of people here um, throughout the weeks. We have a man, um, Dredge the Beatnik. We have Alma Davis. You know what I'm saying? So we had a lot of folks that we definitely have spoke to. We have VJ Vermeek, who uh, represented. She's uh, from the Chopping It Up With Q show. And I'm actually, in the future, I'm going to have Q on uh, himself. So shout out to everybody. Shout out to the X Squad affiliate. Shout out to the Pod Squad. Shout out to everybody that's tuning in and listening. I'm going to take this thing out. You know, I'm always about that independent music. So we're going to do that. Thank y'all for joining me and kicking it with Key C. All right. See you.
beyond what they feel But you can't see it, you, you can't see it Blood 
was meant to make 